Starting today, San Diego police will start enforcing the city's unsafe camping ordinance. It officially went into effect yesterday. That's right. The city is now encouraging unsheltered people to move to a safe sleeping site. CBS 8's Chris Groh, he's live on Harbor Island right now to explain how this law is going to work, Chris. And so this is a day that many have had, uh, again, uh, a real focus and attention paid to waiting to see exactly how this enforcement will begin. And it does look like the city, as they have communicated, will be starting on focusing in areas in which parks and schools are nearby. Now, as for the unsafe camping ordinance as a whole, the way that this is working is that it prohibits tent encampments in all public spaces throughout the city if shelter beds are available. But again, why parks and schools are important is because they actually fall under the category of not needing shelter capacity. So this encampment ordinance bans tent encampments in sensitive areas at all times, like those parks, schools, but also canyons, transit stations and homeless shelters. Now it's a three strike enforcement policy. The first is a warning. The first encounter. The second encounter is a misdemeanor citation and finally an arrest if someone doesn't comply. Now critics believe that this not only criminalizes being homeless, but that there simply aren't enough shelter beds available. However, the city as well as city leaders like council member Stephen Whitburn have pointed out that there is a safe sleeping site that has gone up now. It is meant to house about 136 tents, but as of earlier this month, only 28 people were staying in about 21 tents, but it is available right now and the city is trying to lead people to go ahead and stay there versus on the streets. Now some adjustments have also been made to the site. Um, we are waiting to see exactly uh, what may have come since the inception of it. But according to city permits, that site must close by December 28th. Yeah, it's only going to last for about 180 or so days. A spokesperson for the mayor told us that it was always meant to be a short term solution. And there is a second location that is coming up that will hold about 400 tents, but that hasn't opened up just yet. So people are waiting to see exactly when there may be new shelter beds made available here in the city of San Diego. But for now, we are going to send things back to you in studio as we continue to cover the enforcement of this unsafe camping ordinance.